Hey there, my name is Red Spleen, or uh, most people call me Spleen, um, and uh, well, I wanted to make a YouTube video. So here I am, I guess. I usually like to watch YouTubers like Flip, Smallish Beans, uh, sometimes Pixlory, and also Logical Geek Boy. And you can probably tell by the build style around this single player world. Hold on, I need to sleep. I need to sleep, man. I know it'll probably be more exciting to watch me, you know, start a new single player world and watch me fumble around at the beginning and stuff, but I'm really enjoying this world that I've got so far and I want to take you guys along for the rest of the ride. So, uh, uh, I guess I'll show you around. So the first thing I built on the server, uh, was my star home. I didn't want to make it too big, I, you know, I wanted to make it cozy and make it look good, so uh, I made it like a, a little, a little kind of medieval, um, big enough house. So inside, you know, got a nice little welcome mat and then kitchen, of course, that I never use anymore, but it is a star house after all. And upstairs, this is where I keep my, <laughs> my dragon egg, I know. Kind of a weird place to put it since I never come here anymore, but it is there. Um, then I also have a wither school because why not spice up the place? Oh yeah, and we have the pod sign. I will take you to the uh, second thing I built, which was this. A designed by a logical geek boy, I built like that little building around it that I want to rework because it's kind of <laughs> It's not the prettiest thing. I tried to cover it up with bushes and, and berry bushes and stuff. It comes around and then I built this sort of like house kind of structure on top of it um, with a basement underneath so I can actually, you know, pick up the villagers, send them out. There's quite a lot of them at the moment. You can probably tell by uh, all of the sounds. Upstairs is like a little apartment kind of thing but I haven't put anything in here. It's, it's just... Uh, it's, it's, it's empty. And then we go to the next thing I built, which is this library. I wanted to make it a little funky, so I added a little tower on top. Um, and this is the inside. Pretty plain, just bookshelves. I want to spice this up as well, because I want it to feel like a like a proper library rather than just like you know a place <laughs> where the villagers who sit there and never leave but yeah yeah that, that guy's sad expression that says it all um but they also have a pet <laughs> they have this chicken that i haven't named yet um who just kind of hangs around maybe as emotional support since they will never see the light of day again if anybody has suggestions for names for this guy uh please I go ahead and comment them. Okay, so up here, uh, it's like a little balcony kind of area. Uh, you can see the chicken down there, just uh, hanging around. Um, we have the enchantment room, because I didn't want to put it in like uh, in my house, uh, especially because my house is really small, so I decided to throw it up here. Just a cute little hot corner, I guess. So this was originally just a, a hole in the hill. Um, and I turned it into a little sort of mine entrance. Obviously, it doesn't really look like the entrance to a mine because it juts straight down. But it's it, it you know it looks cool. Hold on, I wanna I wanna change that. There we go. And you know tried to make it look it was actually like a little dugout site, uh, but like a little dugout site in a hill, because that's perfectly safe. I honestly don't really understand how mining works, but. That is that, and then we've got a custom tree behind it. No, two custom trees, one big one, one small one. Um, and then <laughs> just more wildlife, and then obviously a massive field of carrots and potatoes. And this is my storage room, and a windmill, but mostly my storage room. There's not much in here to be honest, but, <laughs> but there's, there's, oh, there's where all my stuff is. And then, ow, maybe, maybe I should watch out for those bushes. Um, we have the windmill, which is where I'm going to keep my farmer villages, even though we only have one. He had a friend, the friend died. Then we have another, uh, ow, another custom tree, of course. I, uh, you know, gotta, gotta keep it lively and stuff. Um, and then we can move on to, uh, a more 
boring <laughs> a more boring kind of area where we have two little houses they don't serve any purpose they kind of just sit here and look pretty uh which they do they do look very pretty um it's the uh well yeah two houses <laughs> this one completely empty there's nothing in here i want to add interiors but i haven't gone around to it yet and then in here well there's an enderman in a boat um we have sand here why do we have sand i have no idea why there was sand there anyway let's also got a little balcony we can watch the sunset Ooh, very nice very pretty but uh, i'm just gonna hop down for now also we need a, a name for this guy too <laughs> uh he he deserves a name because, uh, you know, if he's going to be a permanent villager in, in my town, in Spleen Town, then uh, he needs a name. What do you want your name to be? You don't know? Okay. And then here we have a little bench with all well, my dogs. <laughs> Name to Mr. Mrs. Spleen Senior. Mr. Spleen Senior. And their child, Mr. Spleen Junior. Because they all have to be named after me, obviously. Because I'm so cool. Have you ever seen someone so cool in your life? And then we move on to the boring part, which is my to-do board. So, you know. Yeah, pretty basic to-do list. So, did that one today on stream. I can get rid of that. I'll take this sign, I guess. Um, uh... Hog dog. Okay. Uh, I think I did a, a day or two ago, which is this greenhouse guy. And it doesn't look like much, but it's actually a flying machine sugar cane farm. Um, I did uh, copy the flying machine from uh, one of Flip's videos. Uh, then we have a little chicken coop, our cow area, and our sheep area. Let's see if we can get any baby chickens. Can we get, can we get any? No. <laughs> Okay, um, we've got a little, another kind of shrubby kind of uh, custom tree there, so kind of leans over the crops. Um, hold on, hold on, hold on, one more. How about that? How about this? Does that look good? Does that look good from from far away? Yeah, yeah, I I, I can I, I like that. Okay, anyway, um, moving swiftly on. There's a cute little nook over here. We have a path down the side, and then it comes to a little pond. This isn't the cute part, although this is pretty nice. I want to, you know, make the back of there look nicer, but uh, this is a little well. I know, it looks like a regular old well, you know? Got a custom tree again here. But um, if I actually hop down here, and turn around, face the right direction, we have a slime pond. Well, basically, it um, this is yet again a design by Logical Geek Boy, I believe. Um, and you have the golem in the middle. And when the slimes spawn, they see the golem, they jump off, and you know, they they go, "Ah, I'm gonna gonna beat you up, man." Uh, but then they fall into the the soul campfires, you know, burn. <laughs> Classic campfire stuff. And then if we come back up. will come out of this little guy. And obviously you've seen this a bunch of times since I've been coming here and you know going back and forward and whatever. But we've got a dock here. I have plans that I, I wanna make a boat, you know, maybe maybe like here coming across and then also maybe like another one that's heading in or, or one that's heading out. I don't know man, but I wanna make it look more lively. Uh, so if I take you to my nether boat it's pretty bright in here in comparison to the builds that I've done in the overworld. This one is the most colorful. <laughs> With the, all the wolf wood and, and stuff and uh, just a lot of blue, pink, red, white, black stone, basalt. You know, a, a good old mix. There is also a thing here. Um, and you, you can probably guess where this goes. Um, and I'm gonna hope that there's no gas to completely screw me over. No? Okay. Uh, so the stairs go up and they take you up to the roof of the nether. Which um, <laughs> took me 
a long time to get this thing to actually work. Um, but you know, uh, fell through the roof, and uh, yet again, another farm biological logical giveaway. You can see as I'm standing down here already, like there's all already like a bunch of guys falling down. Um, it uses turtle eggs, and it, uh, it, well, it's mostly rotten flesh at the moment, but um. I don't really have any use for that, <laughs> so let's just go back through. Um, and uh, I can show you my other farms as well. You come over this hill, I've got a little iron farm going for me, you know? I built this pretty early on as well, but yet again, Biological Geek Boy, his, his videos are, are really easy to understand. So if you go this way, actually, I'll take you guys this way first, because, um, uh, I built something out in the ocean. It's not actually like a proper bill, it's, it's more of like a farm, but it, it, you know, it's, it's worth it. So there it is, that's right, it is a creeper farm. This is by Shultercraft. Um, and their designs are also really good to understand. Um, this one hasn't got a lot of gunpowder in it at the moment, but that's because I have been, you know, AFKing at it since I've made plenty of rockets already. <laughs> but uh, already being here, they're already like dying and uh, giving me more, but you know. There we go, smooth landing, as always, you know. Ooh, okay. Alright, I'm gonna put this back on. Okay. Down here, um, there's not much going on apart from a work in progress. Um, cactus farm and then we have my old shoot cane farm it uh produces a lot less but um it, it's still worthwhile keeping around because you know it, it's like a, a reminder of my early days playing on this world which i have played on for um a whole let's see a whole 4.48 days so <laughs> it's a pretty long time you know um so that's something. And then down here, I made this uh, on the stream today actually. This is my melon and pumpkin farm. Oh, uh, this actually got stuff. Nice. I want to expand it because at the moment it's just tiny. This is another design by Shulkercraft. And then here we have my old strip mine. Wow, so cool. Uh, how do I make a melon? Do I just... There's one more thing in the mines that I want to share with you guys, which is through this tunnel. <laughs> Yet again, this isn't as exciting as I'm setting up to be with this tunnel. It, it, it's, I'm building it up like a, it's actually, it's actually you know something big, but uh, yeah, it's it's just a, a, a cave spider XP farm. This is another design by Sugarcraft. Um, it produces a whole lot of stuff, but um. Yeah, that's, that's the uh, tour of my single player world <laughs> so far. Um, I have a plan for this uh, first kind of episode, I guess, though, um, that I want to do a time lapse build. Once those zombies stop dying, um, I want to build something today. Uh, in fact, we're going to be building uh, this over here. Um, we're gonna be building a butcher's, a butcher's shop. Uh, it's been sitting here for a while, you know, waiting to be actually properly built. Um, and I just keep on neglecting it, so I think it's about time. So, uh, I'm gonna gather materials and then we can get this time lapse going. Okay, we have collected all the stuff uh, we need, I think. This is all everything I need. I'm not entirely sure, but um, we'll see how it goes. Let's make this damn butchers. So we soon got into the building. Started with the frame of the house, you know, building up the logs and stuff. You know, adding in extra logs. And you know how it goes. Filling the walls in. I used a blend of cobblestone and stone to make it look a little bit messier. And then I used smooth sandstone for the walls at the front of the house because of you know the palette with the. Uh, the sandstone and the dark oak is really nice. Then we added the walkway, that's kind of like a little path underneath the, the buildings, and then started on the front, uh, did the floors, uh, used oak wood, and we come around to the front, and I started work on the little pig pen that's going to be outside 
Um, and I wanted to incorporate it w into the wall that I'm going to build at a later date. Um, and then we did the front, and it's gonna hang over a bit. Uh, I wanted to give it like a, a little bit of a, um, I don't know, like a little bit of a hanging effect. I, I don't know what I'm saying to be honest, but I wanted to make it look like, you know, the medieval butcher buildings you see with the red and the white little uh, <laughs> front part of market stalls and whatever. And then at this point, I ran out of wood, so I spent quite a long time getting more dark oak before we got back into it. Now we moved up to the top of the building where I, you know, started the frames again before adding in a few of the walls as much as I could. I was running a bit low on sandstone, I'll be honest, but I was running low on pretty much everything at this point. <laughs> uh, so I, once I added in the sandstone, I made holes for the windows, uh, went to go get more sandstone as you can see here, spent a long time flying over to piles of sand not too far from my base, coming back, added in more sandstone, ran back off, <laughs> as you can see me there on the right, and I fly away again, but I soon come back uh, and get back into the building. Um, and we added in the rest of the sandstone, so it was all completely done. Um, and then we got to the windows. At the front, I wanted to add uh, a little bit of a bay window to give it more dimension because I wanted it to look interesting, you know, from the front and uh, having it stick out, have it be, make it more 3D. Uh, then we added in the side of the roof. Uh, worked on the small, like the lower side of the roof first, using slabs and occasional stairs to cover up where the uh, the slabs had to be double layered for them to actually, you know, fit in with the roof. Then added in some shutters to the windows using spruce trap doors. Um, did this to all the sides. Uh, then started work on the top of the roof. Um, and uh, you know, started out with the frame going around the inside, uh, worked our way in. Um, I ran out of stairs at one point, so uh, I did have to keep running around for stuff. But here's me adding in the roof for the sort of walkway area, um, and then adding in the floor to the well, the second floor, working on the chimney, uh, and then I go back and I returned to making the roof, um, you know, pretty basic stuff, <laughs> just uh, making it slope up, down, like a, a v-shape, you know, basic roof, didn't want to make it too fancy, make it look too tall. Um, I made a little bit of like a ridge at the top, because I don't want it to be completely flat, as, uh, you know, <laughs> I want to make stuff interesting. And then we come around and I've added in some lanterns, you can see. Um, the banners at the front of the building actually weren't rendering on the, uh, the, the replay footage, but um, they are there. Uh, as you can see, we also did most of the roof for the walkway added in a window as well. Um, obviously, there is a huge hole there that I completely forgot about, <laughs> but uh, I did get around to fixing that off camera. And then we worked on the chimney, added in the, a little soul campfire. Add in some logs, put out some campfires there as well. Um, and then we fixed uh, up the little path going between the buildings. And I really like the little nook right there. I think it looks amazing when you walk around with the shaders on, which I, I will show after this uh, replay of what well, the time lapse. You know? uh, it, it looks pretty cute. <laughs> it's pretty neat. Um, I also worked on the texture of the, the little pig pen area. I uh, added in some pod salt to make it look a bit muddier. So it, it looks, you know, it looks like a little muddy area. And that was it, basically. I didn't talk to stop mobs from spawning, and it's done. So we are back in the survival world, and I've finished the build. Obviously, as you saw in the time lapse, um, I missed a few things. <laughs> There was a huge hole in the roof, but it's okay because it's covered up now. But uh, I decided to turn some shaders on and see how pretty my world is looking so far, you know? Because you, you gotta enjoy the little things in life, if you know what I'm saying. 
For example, the butchers, which the exterior is now done. I'm thinking I'm gonna get around to doing the interior of this place uh, in, in, ne in the next video. And I might also do the interiors of the Enderman's house and also the other building back here because they've been sitting there without anything inside them for a long time and I think I should probably just should probably just do it, you know? But for now I'm thinking we should get a pig and put him in here. Because, you know, it's it's a it's a butcher's. I'm gonna feel bad having a pig next to a butcher's, however, uh, you know. We need a a sign that it, it's not it's you know, an actual butcher's. <laughs> Oh, that gives me an idea. First, let me get some sleep though. Okay, so I have a plan uh, and it involves using, um, do I have any, <laughs> do I have any left? No, I don't. Okay, but I do have plenty of leather and we'll probably only need like three. Um, and some sticks, okay. Throw this in the middle, you know, put this around it, and we can get three of these. Um, we also need a block to put it on. Uh, possibly these spruce planks. We could try out the uh, dark oak as well. And then let's also get some kind of meat. I don't have any. Oh, wait, wait. I'm thinking we use steak instead. I've had cows at home this whole time. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm I am a fool. Alright, and we're back and we are <laughs> we are going to remember that I have uh, a place for cows this time. I should be able to just get enough from one cow so I don't have to kill a bunch. Yep, three steak, that should be good. Adios, I'm sorry for killing your friend. Um, where am I going? So we go. We need to go get some pigs now. I hear onking. <gasps> Hello. Let's get your friend as well. Thank you. And then around here. And we're in. Thank you for being so kind. Let me uh exit through the door. <laughs> There we go. Okay, and now the other thing to do, we're gonna add one of these guys outside to signify that it is a butcher's. <laughs> is that a bit of an awkward place? It is, but uh, we're gonna go with it. Last thing I want to do is add another one of these uh, sort of lamps back there in the corner to add some more light. Okay, so if we just throw it down about right I'm thinking here? No, maybe a little bit further back. feel bad getting rid of the spoon. There we go. And there we go. Nice. Well, I gotta say, this build is looking pretty cute. Once we've got the walls built up and we've added like, I don't know, a few things, maybe like a wagon here, just a small one off to the side, maybe here, I don't know. Uh, this place is going to look a whole lot more homely. Ow. Dude! My potatoes! You bitch! Well, I may have arrows in almost all of the limbs on my little block body, but thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed me making stuff out of blocks in a pixel block game. Well, I'm off to uh, think about this potato. Goodbye.